Now, some of the symptoms from a vitamin D deficiency are very similar to a calcium deficiency, probably because you can cause a calcium deficiency if you don't have enough vitamin D. So I wanna go through the list to see if you might need more calcium or a vitamin D. Uh, first of all, when you have low calcium, you could have uh, similar symptoms to having peripheral neuropathy like, like a diabetic would have. Uh, numbness and tingling in the fingers and the toes, muscle spasm, Charlie horse, you can have achy muscles, very similar to a vitamin D deficiency because vitamin D directs where calcium goes. Does it go into the muscle or not? And so if you're low in vitamin D, um, you're going to have a lot of muscle aches, but definitely in your lower back. Okay. Your lower back is going to be very, very weak, achy, painful. Uh, and you're also going to have bone pain. It could be anywhere in your body. Also with vitamin D, you're going to have more inflammation throughout the body, but you're not going to necessarily have that with low calcium. Now with a calcium deficiency, you can have confusion, um, spasm in the throat. You might have a hoarseness or a chronic cough, that is low calcium. You can also be very, very stiff. You can also have tetany, which is kind of a quivering of the muscle. Uh, you can also have these red spots, like little bruising spots um, throughout the body as well. Now with low vitamin D, um, that can affect your mood. You can feel sad, depressed, anxiety. Uh, with low vitamin D, you can have high blood pressure. Also with low vitamin D, you might have a hard time going to sleep. Like you're really tired, but your head cannot go to sleep. That means you need calcium. Now with low vitamin D, it's going to affect your immune system. You're going to be more susceptible to getting sick. And another way to look at this is from your diet. Um, are you avoiding all dairy? Uh, we get a lot of calcium from dairy, but you also can get calcium from dark leafy green vegetables. So if you're not consuming any dairy, let's say you have an allergy, and if you don't like vegetables, right there, you're probably going to be low on calcium. Also, calcium is high in the fish trout. It's also high in clams. And um, if you have high blood pressure and you're taking those calcium channel blockers, that can actually create a calcium deficiency as well. So these are just little clues to kind of narrow in on what you might be deficient in. Now, I've done a lot more videos on vitamin D uh, than calcium. But the reason why most people are deficient in vitamin D is they don't get enough sun uh, because it's almost impossible to get your vitamin D from, from your diet. Uh, you could potentially do it if you consume a lot of fatty fish, salmon, things like that, but rarely uh, do people do that. But it mainly relates to the sun. If you're overweight, if you're older, if your skin is darker, you're going to have more of a vitamin D deficiency. Now, another point I want to bring up, calcium. Calcium is also influenced by magnesium. If you have too much or too little magnesium, you can have a calcium deficiency. So it's not just calcium in your diet, okay? It could be your low vitamin D. So you have to look at all these factors when you're trying to identify um, why you might have a certain symptom. Now, the last point I wanna bring up is your pH. If you're too alkaline, you're not gonna be able to absorb calcium. So you may have high levels of calcium, but it's unavailable to you as well. One last thing, if you're low in vitamin K2, calcium can't be transported out of the joints. It can't be transported out of the blood. But in this video, I just wanted to differentiate um, this calcium from vitamin D deficiencies. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before